Hello everybody, this is Gina Bear reporting to you for duty and today we are going to experience a traditional tea ceremony here at Gyeongbokgang. Come along with us. Take off. The tea ceremony takes place at Jeongjeon Hall at Gyeongbokgung Palace and the official name for the tea ceremony is actually Daryeol which is the Korean word for tea ceremony. Jeongjeon Hall is actually dedicated to Queen Shinjong. The name of the hall comes from the word Dakyong which means a wish for health and the blessing of the royal family. Dakyongjong is an exclusive ladies room for the king's mother and it's decorated with aesthetically exquisite patterns that signify good luck a long life which implements the perfect tea ceremony experience. When you do the experience, the tea master will begin by introducing herself and then introducing the instruments you will be using for the tea ceremony such as the tea jar, bowl, saucer, water kettle, spoon, container, tea towel, etc. And the host will exchange greetings with the guest and she will also teach you how to bow. Men and women actually bow differently. The tea ceremony is conducted in Korean only, but don't let that stop you from having an amazing experience because, hey, when all else fails, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> During this time, the host should heat the tea bowls, but uh, the bowls were already heated for us. And then after that, they are going to slowly brew the tea and make sure that it is done to perfection. There were a whole bunch of other steps that you had to do before actually serving the tea, and I don't know what those steps symbolize. Sorry about that, guys. Next time I'll find out. But did you know that green tea is actually quite good for you? They definitely knew how to get down in the Joseon era because actually green tea is really good for anti-aging, antibacterial, and inflammatory effects. And it's also good for caffeine which helps reduce fatigue and gives a diuretic effect. So if you have trouble passing your bowels, you know what to drink. So after the host serves the tea, then you are going to hold the teacup in both hands and you have to do this gently and slowly. So you have to take a sip three times to savor the scent, taste, and the color of the tea. When they say drink the tea slowly, do it slowly so you don't choke, like me. Lastly, the host will present you with delicious sweets that you will get to eat. Now we are going to eat some delicious snacks. I'm really excited to try them and see what they're like. Mm, it's so good. When the tea ceremony concludes, you will put a protective cover over the instruments and the dishes, and then you will bow to your partner and that's it, you're finished. I hope you all enjoyed the tea ceremony as much as I did. It was a beautiful, wonderful, and magical experience. And I hope that if you're here in Korea, you will check out Gyeongbokgang and do this tea ceremony yourself. Would you guys try this experience? Let me know in the comment section below. Gina Bear, signing out. See what's above